All right, we are live. So today I'm joined by True Underdog. Thank you so much for coming on the show, man. I really appreciate it. How are you doing today, man? Feeling pretty good. I got my energy drink because it is late where I'm at, but that's it, a okay. <laughs> Some heart palpitations never stopped anybody. No, not at all. And uh, um, thank you. Also, <laughs> it's like, oh shoot, we lost him. Um, yeah, thanks for uh, the art. <laughs> um but yeah thanks for staying up late i really appreciate that yeah it's like one of the only times i can you know uh do it just like kind of at night and stuff and on a sunday non nonetheless and it is the second when we are recording this um i'm gonna put this out on tuesday but um we're recording this on sunday i wanted to say that because of ed boone's tweet today because if something comes out between now and then it's going to be really awkward. So, yeah, <laughs> wanted to say Just that. Just how I like it. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny how people, too, like, they'll comment saying, like, did he mm -hmm. not watch the trailer? And it's like, did you not read the upload date? It yeah. shows you when I posted the video. <laughs> like, it was before yeah. the trailer. <laughs> and, it, yeah, exactly, dude. And I was like, that was just like right now too. And me and me and Bresk were talking about this uh, last night, which was like, this is a great time, not only to be an a, a MK content creator, but a great time to be just an MK fan. And mm -hmm. we're right on the cusp of just the floodgate opening, you know, of everything. Mm -hmm. So it's a very exciting time. But um, again, thank you on the show. So um, if you don't already, I'm sure if you're watching this, you know, true underdog. If you haven't already subscribed to his channel, please go subscribe to his channel um, for some great MK and other content as well. I like your Street Fighter 6 stuff as well. And you've been doing some- I wish I could have made more, man. Like the, <laughs> I got two guides in and then all the Mortal Kombat 1 stuff happened. So yeah. I just had to put the brakes on it. I wanted to make at least three more guides for that game because I actually mm -hmm. play a lot of characters in that game. It's stupid, crazy fun. I'm still playing yeah. Street Fighter 6 even now. Yeah, Street Fighter 6 is super fun. I play that almost every night and I'm- or, I play that for hours on on end, and um, your jury uh, uh, guide was great, by the way. Well, thank you. Um, very practical, and I really like that. So very short, sweet, practical. So that was a great guide. I really appreciate that. So if you're a jury player and you want to get better at jury, check out his uh, jury guide. Um, so uh, you got you were lucky enough to go to LA and play MK and MK1. And a lot of people got to play the stress test. I haven't found one person who was just like, oh, I didn't get to play the stress test. Like everyone got it. To... Seem like everyone got it, which is funny. Cause like, yeah. it was marketed as like a lottery ticket. Like I hope you get in, but then like yeah. literally every YouTuber I know got in, even like small <laughs> ones who don't cover MK1 are like, I'm in. <laughs> yeah. And then on top of that, if you go on Twitter, I saw people like, there are people giving away codes. They're tweeting oh, yeah, yeah. codes, just, just, they're like, yeah, you get a code, you get a code. But Somebody yeah. was super nice. They wanted to give a code to my friend because they're going to be on vacation during the stress test. And I was mm -hmm. like, oh, sweet. Gave it to my friend. It turns out the codes are region specific. So the person was in Europe and you can't Aww. use a European code if you're in America. So yeah. My friend still couldn't make use of it. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, but he's like, man, this fucking sucks. <laughs> this day's ruined. <laughs> yeah, dude. And, um. I was actually disappointed because I, I don't blame them because of the uh, the cracked beta with Street Fighter 6, but I play PC. I actually don't own a PS5, although it is looking very tempting um, at this moment because of the same thing. Back in 2014, I bought a PS4 to uh, play PS5 or um, PS4 to play Mortal Kombat X upon its release in April 2015 oh. and um, uh, I'm thinking about doing the exact same thing <laughs> with, the, with yeah, the PS5 I always tell people to keep their options open and always have mm -hmm. at least one console because look what happened with Jedi Survivor that's actually not a bad game it just doesn't run on PC for some reason but huh. PS5 no problems like it works completely fine mm -hmm. in, the P good game. in the PS5 like it looks it looks fantastic i was lucky enough and a huge yeah. shout out to my friend og shinobi he was kind enough to um let me come over to his house and play uh during the stress test and um dude ps5 it looked phenomenal like no screen tearing nothing it looks it looked great and on top of that and we'll get into the the, the first impressions was uh it, it it was definitely an old build but even so it ran perfect on ps5 mm -hmm. so that was cool yeah. but anyway yeah the cool thing about ps5 is that it has mm -hmm. like quick access to memory 
That's what they were mm -hmm. saying. It's one of mm -hmm. the best things about it is it can access memory real quick, which mm -hmm. is why there's no loading screen for Mortal Kombat 1 at all. It's the character intros, and then the match just goes. Mm -hmm. There's no loading screen, and that's one of the reasons why. It can quickly access and be like, oh, ready. <laughs> yeah. Age is loaded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. Actually, yeah, that was one thing, because uh, uh, we'll get into that in a little bit, but that was one thing that a lot of people uh, I heard was they kind of miss the dialogue and banter the pre-fight dialogue and banter and now that's in the loading screen but it's actually not a loading screen it's just them you know uh uh doing the pre-fight dialogue i actually mm -hmm. personally i didn't i liked mk9's pre-fight dialogue it was like the same thing over and over and it was just like an <laughs> intro i i personally did not like the mkx and mk11 pre-fight dialogue um i know a lot of people did but uh i was kind of glad this one was cool because it's like a loading screen and then it showed them doing their like you know stuff and and then they fight the part but, that you the part that it's okay to skip you can mm -hmm. skip you know, because mm -hmm. everyone skipped the dialogue anyway, so it felt kind of like a waste. It's just for YouTubers that want to make a quick buck and upload yeah. all the interactions of different, you know, various categories. Yeah. But now it's the loading screen, and it's fast, just like one back and forth, so it's really quick. Uh -huh. And then the part that you want to skip, or do a little, little dance or whatever, you can skip that part, and it's completely fine. Yeah. I guess it, what I'm saying is the voice acting and the animations don't go to waste <laughs> for the intro dialogues yeah. now, because you kind of have to listen to them, unless mm -hmm. you're playing the arcade ladder, or they don't actually do any intros, which mm. is interesting. It just cuts right to the match. My yeah. uh, buddy, the fourth snake, was not happy about that because he wanted to hear the intro dialogues for lore purposes. And yeah, he had to go online. And he to is those. the lore guy. He is he is a lore guy, like the lore guy, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but uh, so what was uh, this? Is almost like a twofold. What was your first impressions, both in LA and stress test? Because was yeah. was LA and stress test the same build? Pretty much. Okay. If there are any differences, I can't really tell. Okay. So I'd say, yeah, they're probably the same build. My first impression was, wow, this game is really pretty, which everyone mm -hmm. expected, but you really don't know how pretty it is until you're seeing it on your screen while mm -hmm. playing it, because it's different than like when it's been converted three different times and uploaded to YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. Even if it's 4K, it's not going to look as good as it is native on your screen. Mm -hmm. And it's very pretty. My second impression was not a positive one. I thought, man, I feel heavy. Like mm. when I moved around, I I, I felt heavy. Yeah. A lot of the attack strings don't move your don't move your character forward. They stay in mm -hmm. the same spot because I was playing Kenshi, and he doesn't move for most of his um strings. He stays where he is. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, I feel I feel heavy. I'm not moving anywhere. I can't use my strings to advance. But it's important to keep in mind that's hot off the tail of playing Street Fighter Six, where it's like <laughs> literally twice as yeah. fast because like the attacks yeah. are three frames and Mortal Kombat they're seven. So mm -hmm. the fastest move is literally twice as slow. So it could just be because I went from that game to Mortal Kombat. Yeah, and, and Street Fighter Six is a pretty fast Street Fighter game, too. Oh yeah, so. it's your offense too, which is why I love it. I'm a big rush down boy, so yeah, I like my offense and crazy pressure. Yeah, um, I'm a I was come back handy man. I totally get hard. it. <laughs> yeah, that was my third impression. I was mm -hmm. like, this game is hard because um, mm -hmm. timing the cameos is not as easy as it looks, depending on which assist you do. Like Kano's knives come out like a full second and a half after you press the button. Mm -hmm. So you better get used to doing the string really quick and then pressing that cameo button right away. Cause you cannot mm -hmm. wait till your strings over and then call him in. He's too slow. Yeah. It'll drop every time. So it requires a lot of thinking. I imagine once there's muscle memory, it'll get a lot easier. Mm -hmm. um, and some cameos are faster than others. Like Sonya's air blast where she jumps in the air and punches them mm -hmm. is like instant. You press the button, she comes right out which mm -hmm. is why she's like the easy beginner cameo character. Right. Even the forward throw with her does more damage than mm -hmm. other forward throws, which is, again, she's beginner friendly. So that was my third impression. This game is kind of hard. Yeah. <laughs> like it's going to take a while to lab these combos and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's probably my main impressions of the game. This game is pretty, feels kind of slow, um, but also like it's tough. <laughs> it's a tough video game. Yeah, it, and I had very similar um almost identical first impressions the first thing i did is i loaded up to the main menu and um one thing uh i i played a lot of mmorpgs um in the past particularly i actually played a lot of korean mmorpgs such as like aeon terra um blade and soul you know a couple of those and when i loaded into the main the the menu screen and even the towers like the aesthetics felt like a korean mmorpg like interesting you know the just the very positive peaceful feeling you know oh, yeah, yeah. that that's that's how i felt like going in and 
I am all for that. Um, me and uh, another one of my friends, Temp, we talked, um, we like playing protagonist characters. We like the good guys. You know, I am definitely not an edgelord. Um, I like to play, you know, I, I, I'm not one who's like, I have to play noob and havoc. I'm more so like, <laughs> I like to play like uh, Katana and Nightwolf. Um, those are, you know, players I like to play, uh, characters I like to play. Um, but uh, yeah, that was the first impression. Is this is a gorgeous game. And the other thing was like life, color, beauty. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And finally, it took us like seven games. We're finally back <laughs> to having color again. Man. Yeah, exactly. I don't know what the deal was like, First, Injustice was almost black and white. If you go back and look at like Injustice 1, mm -hmm. it's so desaturated. In mm -hmm. fact, I have to go in, whenever I make a video about Injustice 1 as a throwback, like, oh, this character was so broken, I have to put in so many filters to make it look colorful and live. Really? And people notice and go, why does your game look so good? Like, it looks so pretty and colorful. My game looks like it's almost a black and white noir detective film. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that's how it looks yeah. by default, man. You got to put a bunch of filters on and stuff in post. Mm -hmm. But then finally we got back. Even in MK11, people were like, oh, the color is back. And I'm like, it's mostly back. Mm -hmm. Scorpion could be more yellow. <laughs> like Sub-Zero could be more blue. And now yeah. here we finally are. They're, they're fully yellow and blue and like very vibrant backgrounds, like you were saying. I mean, Johnny Cage's mansion has like a pink flamingo in the pool. Like they're not afraid <laughs> to finally add color. Like I'm like, yes. Yeah. Finally. On top of that, the, like the night, it's like, dude, the, the, it was um even the gameplay trailer too is like you watch the they had the the shaolin the shaolin monastery you had the uh yeah. you, uh what else you had the um i'm i actually think that's sindel's courtyard um mm -hmm. yeah the courtyard yeah the living forest it was like so beautiful and vibrant and, and 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 colorful and i was like yes finally we got color we got life you know my theory on that though i got a little bit of a theory okay just, uh, i'm all about theories let's hear it video so because mm -hmm. the first trailer was all about the heroes. I mm -hmm. think the next trailer is going to be all about the villains. So we're going to see not just villain characters, but villain stages. We'll probably get mm, shown some of the okay. more evil stages. And I'm like, cool. I think it's what the vibe's going to be. So we've seen all the happy levels that are all pretty, la la la. And here's the hero <laughs> characters. Yeah. Now we're going to get like the villains and the villain stages and mm -hmm. some villain story clips put in there too for good measure, you know? Finally, Reptile, uh, fingers crossed, he's got to be in there please finally show reptile <laughs> yeah no i have a um i can see that and uh another friend cyborg of the nethercast he was saying um like i think the other shoe is gonna drop like we've seen all this life and color and stuff like that eventually it's like poof darkness gore blood havoc reiko you know it's, it's reptile noob it's like seeing all those characters you know back in it again you know what would be super cool but like mm -hmm. it might be asking a bit much I would like if that main menu stage changes as you progress like through the story mode because Liu Kang mm -hmm. mentions like choice several times in the first yes. trailer. Yes, we'll so talk about I that. I hope there's yeah. like, a good and a bad guy path. And if you choose the bad path, I hope the intro stage gets like more and more morbid. That'd be really mm. cool to me. Like the sky gets kind of cloudy maybe. Like Brotherhood and, like, of Shadows thing in MKX. Yeah, the trees yeah. are losing all their leaves. There's like snakes in the garden now. And <laughs> crap, maybe the statue in the back's falling apart. Yeah. There's lightning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be really cool, I think. Just have it change based on my choices. So whenever I mm -hmm. log back into the game, I'm like, oh yeah, I did that. <laughs> yeah. I did all the, the bad things. Here's the that, stage. I didn't even think about that. That's actually a really good idea. NRS um <laughs> but i think they might yeah. do it because it starts off so pretty like it's it uncharacteristically does. pretty and peaceful at the start mm -hmm. so yeah and i think that was pr on purpose because one it's like new game you know it's eden you know garden of eden it's like brand pretty new much, and stuff yeah. like that that's what that's the way i look at it but um yeah i can see it going down and choice is a theme and i hear that a lot and i'm i'm also theorizing that in our campaign i i do think that we're going to get some kind of conquest mode whether you are playing like an rpg Sh shijinko kind of thing or create a character i don't know it could have like a world tour style thing kind of like street fighter but um something to where it's like you're gonna have to make choices uh, are you gonna go down scorpion or sub-zero's path are you gonna go down melina katana's path are you gonna go down you know pick a character it's you're gonna you're gonna go down you're gonna have to choose paths and everything you know mm -hmm. and um uh, the game popped just popped in my head is uh knights of the uh, knights of the old republic those are the star wars okay, games yeah. where you get to you know are good and evil and stuff like that you can be a you can be a light sith 
or a dark Jedi. Like, you know, like yeah. you could totally do things like that. But it's um but yeah, choice is a big deal. And and mm-hmm. you can tell it's a big theme in this game for sure. And it would be super that- interesting because when I first played MK9 even and I had to play Johnny Cage in chapter one. Mm-hmm. high school me actually worried that if i lost the match i would kill johnny and he'd be dead for the rest of the story i was like oh no <laughs> can't let johnny yeah. die so i was super paranoid and then when i finally got my first game over i was like oh okay it's good to retry yeah but how Flat. cool would it be if there was a mode like permadeath where if your character gets killed because you're not good enough like they're just dead in story mode now be super interesting <laughs> it's like flashbacks least, of mortal Kombat annihilation yeah but, or at yeah. least give us the option to kill or spare certain characters when we win and that mm-hmm. can like affect the story that'd be super interesting too that, you have yeah. chosen peace. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sure. That that that's a great idea as as well. Can you imagine yeah. how how uh, imagine if they gave you an option at the end of a match online, even to like spare the opponent, and we can slowly cleanse the toxicity of the yeah. Mortal Kombat community? <laughs> oh my gosh, dude! Spared. <laughs> I know. Because you know, it's funny. Is like if you do win a match and you do a friendship on somebody, it's supposed to be kind of you know it it it's supposed to be a knock on that person. It's not supposed yeah. to be um, like, hey, I'm so sparing bad. you, you know? Oh, friendship. So bad though. When, when they first added friendship, it mm-hmm. had like a hard requirement. I forgot what it was, but like there was an extra requirement than just win the match. Mm-hmm. So like nobody was able to do it. I'm like, Netherum, what are you doing? You gave me a peaceful option and I can't mm-hmm. even use it. People are going to think I'm a jerk just for like killing them when I could have done a, a, a friendship. Yeah. And they finally got rid of that dumb requirement that was there. I think it was like you had to like get a flawless victory or something ridiculous. It had to be in the third match or something. There was some requirement, and I was like, "That's so dumb." Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm glad they did that. And they and uh, towards the end of MK11's life cycle, they started finally like they just started giving away easy fatalities, like and brutalities uh, too. Like the mm-hmm. brutalities just happen by accident. No longer like yeah, hold this button and turn your controller upside down and give it a little shake mm-hmm. <laughs> to get the I brutality. remember that. Yeah. But um, okay, so this um, that was the first thing was the color. The second thing you said was uh, I feel heavy. I think so far of what I've talked, uh, people I've talked to about it, everyone kind of agrees. Now, the way I kind of described it was um, when you were comboing the. Uh, I'm sorry, your walk speed and your neutral did not fit how fast your combos were. So that's that's how I kind of felt like, oh, I feel sluggish when I'm walking or dashing. But when I'm comboing, it it's kind of like M- it was like MK11 walk and dash speed with MKX uh, like speed in the com- during the combo. Yeah. So it did. It didn't quite it didn't mesh together. So um I'm pretty con not necessarily convinced, but I'm I'm positive that that Nether Realm has heard that complaint a lot, and it, mm-hmm. I'm almost convinced that it's probably going to get taken care of before release. And I'm also yeah. hopeful that maybe the reason it felt that way is there mm-hmm. could be input delay because mm-hmm. it's such an early build. Street Fighter mm-hmm. Five had that problem. There was like eight frames of input delay. You press a button, and then eight frames later, it comes out. I'm hoping that's also the reason because according to the frame data, the characters aren't slower. They still have seven frame um, moves and stuff mm-hmm. and 10 frame mids and all that, but it just didn't feel as fast as MK11. So I'm like, yeah. what's the deal here? It could be input delay. Mm-hmm. And I would not mind if the four dashes went a bit further. Some of those four dashes don't even seem worth it. You're better off just walking forward. Yeah. No, I Because you're stuck in dash recovery. You can't even um, dash cancel as easily now. So oh, that's like, another oh. thing too, is dash block. Yeah, I was like, please yeah. bring that back. I, I yeah, that's a bit that's that's a big did the thing. opposite. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can't even uh, do what you could do in eleven where you could uh, like do some weird wave dashing, which was always super funny to me that the boss characters had that. Kotal Khan and Shao Khan had like mm-hmm. the best wave dash speed in the game. Yeah. <laughs> it was so funny to watch these hulking titans of men just <laughs> yeah i mean can you imagine zangief just rocketing across and i mean e honda does but it's just like you don't expect giant people to just be like you know going by yeah. but oh, it was so scary he could teleport and he's a giant horse man <laughs> <laughs> i know it's like why is he so fast um dear god they gave goro a teleport <laughs> just like suddenly behind you <laughs> Can you imagine, <laughs> like, have, give 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 Goro like Kung Lao's teleport? Can you imagine him just going <laughs> like just giant man, like going around? Yep. But yeah, um, 
and i agree also that was another very that was another very similar first impression i felt like the game was hard but i didn't feel like it was hard in the sense like this is hard to play i felt like it was hard because it was new and um uh one thing i'm probably going to do is i'm actually going to um unless they are they they do it naturally is i i'm actually going to put the cameo button on my left trigger yeah because side for sure. i kept doing that because um to use assist and i played dragon ball fighters i played marvel versus capcom games i mean assist is nothing necessarily new but i felt like the this assist what was new because it's a mortal Kombat game and the assist yeah. felt it it definitely felt different than um other assist games that I played before and i feel like uh the game was hard just because it was it was it was new and it didn't feel intuitive and but i think it didn't feel intuitive because i i wanted to use the left side not the right and i mm -hmm. i kept dropping that and it's definitely going to take some labbing and muscle memory for sure so there's going to be some time spent in the lab that's for sure yeah i'm the same as you um every tag game that i play mm -hmm. um left bumper is my tag button mm -hmm. just always been that way so that's I'm probably why i kept doing that the first chance i get um i have weird hands i don't want to roast them too hard because they help me draw and i can play games <laughs> pretty well yeah but doing a stream with my thumb while trying to hold right bumper with my index finger as kenji because holding mm -hmm. a bumper delays his phantom mm -hmm. felt very unnatural for me if i could just use my left hand to hold the phantom and then right hands free to do combos oh yeah i feel so much better than cramping my hand because let's be honest ps5 controller kind of small <laughs> For, for like big size hands yeah so. no i understand uh, i mean i'm six four i have like giant Whoa. hands so like yeah You're even the, taller than me yeah i'm six two. <laughs> oh, no, oh nice finally another tall guy great yeah. it's like maybe we should go yeah. yeah dang now we not we just need to get brian f on the show and we can have like a bunch of anybody that's over six one so oh, my buddy's like six eight you'd love him yeah. oh <laughs> <laughs> you know it was really it was funny like my one of my best friends growing up uh kyle is six eight as well and so you just see us walking by and everything mm -hmm. but yeah um yeah tall people often uh conglomerate uh uh get together yeah, yeah. we find each other don't we <laughs> yeah we, we're kind of easy to find so <laughs> but for sure but yeah um so the first impressions would you say good oh yeah i'm all very all? positive i'm okay. looking forward to it a lot because um some characters like sub-zero felt very very natural after mm -hmm. playing him for like two hours mm -hmm. i was like doing everything i wanted i could punish everything i could do my 50 50s it felt very smooth so i know that most characters are going to have that same little curve and then once you're past the curve of learning them you're mm -hmm. going to be like oh yeah this character makes sense to me now and the possibilities of the cameo is going to be so much fun. I can't wait for like the first month when everyone's experimenting and trying mm -hmm. to find out which cameo pairs best with who or which cameo fits which play style the best. And mm -hmm. finding secret tech is going to be so interesting. Oh you know, my I can't gosh, wait to yeah, see that. Kind of like how in Dragon Ball Fighters, um, you know how Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta mm -hmm. um, has that move where he does a little taunt and it builds like his... Uh, super or whatever he reaches like mm -hmm. a certain level he can do that like instant death super mm -hmm. and that was meant to just be like oh you can call out an assist but then people discovered you can call him in twice during the same combo mm -hmm. if you have fast hands enough and utilize both assists i can guarantee the developers didn't plan on that that's tech that yeah. we discovered mm -hmm. so i can't wait for cool stuff like that where fans discover like whoa did you know that you can loop shao khan's taunt <laughs> or like some cool <laughs> stuff like that you know yeah and um please if you do find that don't take it away that <laughs> you know what i mean it's yeah, like i hope they're not too course corrective which i don't think yeah. they will be because in mk11 they weren't too quick to nerf stuff a lot of the time they waited we've come a long way since mm -hmm. uh, mk9 and injustice where every week they were like updating mm -hmm. and changing stuff for yeah better or for worse those pro players had to deal with level three jackie for a while <laughs> or shiva just shiva in general when she oh, first yeah. came out dude that was the notorious was so funny that, yeah. that almost felt a bit petty. Like, they just yeah. refused to nerf Shiva's stomp for, like, a solid <laughs> half oh year. Oh, my <laughs> gosh, dude. It was, like, a solid six months of just, like, if Shiva was online, like, I would play through, but or I would play it, but I'd just be like, I, I don't, don't want to play against this guy anymore, you know? So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's kind of how I felt oh, about it. It was one streamer crying. So that's the new plan, all right? That's the PSYOP. If uh -huh. a character is way too broken, mm -hmm. we're going to find a streamer and pay her to cry when she gets abused <laughs> by that move that seems to get everyone's yeah. attention real quick it does and oh yeah 
I rem na I I to I almost forgot about that. Like one stream one streamer actually started. I mean, I don't, I don't want to like knock her, knock on her too much, but I do remember her crying, just being like, "I want to play so bad, but I don't want to play in Shiva." And it's like it was like constant Shiva matches, and she just kept getting stomped. But, that girl must hate me too because I keep bringing up that meme every now and then. And from what I've heard, it's been scrubbed from YouTube. Uh, like you can't find the raw clips anymore, uh -huh. which means she probably found a way to get them taken down. But mine are transformative. Yeah. Like so you can't get rid of them. They're like part of a critique and stuff. But like oh, so no. I still have my, I still have the clip in my clips that I will still use sometimes. Yeah. I won't do it anymore. But it was just too funny <laughs> to not talk about it because it's like it's not just her. Mm -hmm. It's the fact that. Her crying was more powerful than the entire Mortal Kombat fan base complaining. <laughs> like, we had less power than her tears. Yeah, I know. That's all we need is just one. Yeah, like he said, we just need one streamer to cry, and then we yep. can then that that bring that brings about true change. So, yeah. But um, yeah, overall, first impressions I thought were very good. Um, I I I didn't really have like you know besides mechanics that can be fixed or can be changed um i would like um, a push block that's probably it because mm -hmm. um when you fight a really good player mm -hmm. you'll learn that they can time their cameos perfectly and just get to have like three strings in a row mm -hmm. and i'm like you know that's three different 50 50s potentially if a character comes out that has 50 50s yeah i don't want to have to guess right three times in a row it sure would be nice to have a push block mm -hmm. just to go poof, just knock them back get off me have yeah. it cost one bar or something completely fine. I know there's armored attacks, but it's not quite the same. I want a guaranteed safe pushback get away from me, just like Marvel 3 has. Mm -hmm. I want to move just like that, like advancing guard. Just, just knock him back. Get off. Mm. MKX had it. We can bring it back. <laughs> yeah. They've done it before. They can do it again. Um, the, 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 real, the two, two things I wanted to bring up, though, particularly mm -hmm. was, was the two things that got me so hyped about the game was um one was kenshi not so much that kenshi's back or that he looked fantastic and he played fantastic the okay. fact that you added in a puppet character the yeah. fact that you have an archetype it got me stoked so much for other characters because as yeah. more and more get characters get released as more and more you know like trailers and breakdowns when the combat cast is going to be this thursday you know is like more combat cast come out where we get breakdowns of each of all these different characters it's like oh my gosh we're not just going to have zoners and rushdown characters anymore it's going to mm -hmm. you know it or rushdown and then zoner in that in that order but it's like we're gonna have puppet characters. What's next? Are we are we gonna have true grapplers? Are we gonna have? That's what I was thinking. You read yeah. my mind. Yeah, are an we actual have true, true grappler? grappler. Yeah. So it's like that's just Kenshi being there, being a puppet character, got me so stoked because I was like, who's next? What's gonna happen? You know. So that one, and then um, uh, what was the other one? Was the fact that they added in like combos are back finally combos we're back to be, we're back to combos again and cameo fighters actually when i for when i i was a little hesitant at first when i first heard you know saw that they're doing assist fighting um non-tag assist like assist based uh, fighter i was a little hesitant because i thought it was kind of going to be like mk11's assist in in the in the towers to where it's going to be like oh bo raicho's fart's going to come out and then it's like <laughs> and that's it you don't even see bo raicho you just see a a a brownish green cloud and you're just like eh, you know or or you know you know stuff like that but no they come out they do an animation it looks really good and and it actually extends the combo and it also that also got me stoked because i'm like similar to kenshi it's like are we gonna get defensive cameo fighters are we gonna get I hope so yeah you know so yeah, it's like they played the trailers and the characters so perfectly for the stress test and for the trailers that you're just like, it, it makes you want more. And I'm like, whoever put this together did a fantastic job. Yeah, so. like I was already brainstorming on the Combat Kings podcast. I was mm -hmm. like, you know, just imagine, for example, if Reptile has a cameo option and his cameo just turns your character invisible for five seconds. Like, how cool mm -hmm. would that be? Imagine you do a corner combo, mm -hmm. you launch the opponent into the air, you call in the cameo, and by the time they hit the floor on their back, you're already invisible, and they have to freaking Ooh. guess. Like, how, how sick would that be? And that's, it's only for that's four too seconds. OP. That's going to be so... <laughs> that would be so yeah. cool. Or, like, Shao Kahn comes in, 
shit talks the opponent, they get a damage decrease. Like their damage is nerfed. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Right, <laughs> you right. You stack it. Like it wears off in 10 <laughs> seconds, but if you call them out twice in 10 yeah. seconds, it double nerfs them. <laughs> exactly. It'd be so cool. I, I would love cool stuff like that. And that is another thing I want too, is that one thing I'd really, really like, cause I was, I was like, the, um, I, I did a, a must have series and, um, one thing I'd really like is character specific meter. Now, Street Fighter Six, they they did that with uh, with Menon with her. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, I got you. Like separate yeah. elements on top of the yes. actual gameplay. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, like Jamie's drinks, Menon's medals, you know, stuff like that, right? And mm -hmm. um, even uh, in Guilty Gear Strive, you got uh, Sin his meter and uh, the blood meter too. Um, uh, but who's gonna have the dragon doll? Who's gonna yeah. fully transform? <laughs> who's gonna and my Arena. so the one character I if there was if you were to ask me who is the one character we want you want in Mortal Kombat is my favorite character which is Serena. Serena has more potential lore wise and gameplay wise than any character I yeah. can imagine. That's the one character I want back in this game so bad. And I thought yeah. how cool would it be that she had like a demon meter you know mm -hmm. to where she charged That's super cool yeah charged a demon meter so where she can go in and out of her demon form and stuff you know and it would uh bring up you know uh uh different um specials and different abilities and stuff like that so mm -hmm. that i i think that might be a stretch to have character specific um character specific material such as you know Man like Manon's drink or Manon's medals and Jamie's drinks but and stuff but I mean it's it's a pot with, with Kenshi being a puppet character being in that game yeah. it, it brings on the possibilities of that I wouldn't so, give up hope because Johnny mm -hmm. Cage had a move like that in MK11 you okay. just never saw it because it wasn't that good it was his caged rage every okay. time you made the opponent block it it got better Mm. It actually it actually leveled up as you used it. Okay. Like the first punch was just like I totally forgot about block, that. That's Thank it. you. The second one was like more plus and more chip damage, and the mm -hmm. third one was like an unblockable hook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah. it's also his only red glow attack. Um, I made a video about just the red glow starting in MK2 and how it's made mysterious mm -hmm. appearances in certain games. And then in every Nether Realm game, he's had a red glow attack. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned like, oh, except in MK11. And somebody's like, he does, he does. It's just mm -hmm. the caged rage. It's the unblockable version after it's blocked three times. And I'm like, ah, mm -hmm. oh, shit. Of course I missed <laughs> that move. I even yeah. asked other people like, hey, guys, you play Mortal Kombat 11. Just in case I'm missing something. Does Johnny Cage have a red glow attack? No. Yeah. Does it, which is a shame because I like that mechanic. I'm like, yeah, I know it's weird. And I missed it, so I'm just saying there is a chance if that move yeah. evolves as you play. There's a chance for like a grappler to have like evolving command grabs, like Manon mm -hmm. has or something, or at least do it like Kotal Khan, where like he gets stronger as he command grabs you. Like each throw does more damage. Mm -hmm. Be pretty mm -hmm. cool because Kotal Khan's also a close example of that. He can just keeps stacking his freaking damage. Yeah, he can stab his totems. Yeah, that's very, that's very true. I didn't think about that one either. So yeah, that, boy. It, <laughs> or it can plant bugs in you. That's a thing too. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, now that I think about it, I'm wrong. So you, I'm you're wrong. not wrong. You yeah. you are correct that like there's no actual visual indicators on screen for any mm -hmm. character that I can think about. And it would be cool if they actually did that. And I understand mm -hmm. your fear that they're just gonna play it safe and make it like every other game they've made, where like yeah. here's your characters, mm -hmm. here's your meter, that's it. Um, because mm -hmm. Injustice did a pretty good job with it, I guess, because they all the trait abilities. Mm -hmm there's hope for that maybe we'll have some injustice like characters where they enter like like bane's venom or something <laughs> yeah and just put bane in the game at the realm because I, I like bane. bane just put him in <laughs> mortal kombat one <laughs> as a guest character they won't i'm trying yeah i was to say i don't think they would but i'm trying to picture it but i mean they, no, they, they, they might <laughs> they, they uh, if, I, if i could share my one character i want to see in the game really bad is uh, -huh. uh natara because she has wings mm -hmm. Like, she can fly. She's and my number two. She's from, she's yeah. from the vampire realm. And mm -hmm. like I've pointed out before, it's the only realm or one of the few realms we haven't ever seen. It's never been visually displayed. We mm -hmm. just know there is a vampire realm. So mm -hmm. can we finally have that as a stage? <laughs> yeah. I want a vampire stage. I want, a so I want like a dark Victorian kind of. Yeah, yeah dude. Blood that would be so shit with blood yeah. fountains yeah. and stuff and gargoyles. Oh, it'd be so dope. Dude. And even like the sky is red. And like yeah. there's a moon in the background, like a blood moon, be pretty sick. Uh -huh. like, I think it has so much potential. Oh yeah. And who knows? She could have a blood meter, like <laughs> the guy in Guilty Gear mm -hmm. <laughs> that just builds up. Yeah, dude. Uh, I'm I'm convinced that a lot of these characters are going to be 
in the game without talking about like i don't want to talk about any like leaks or anything like that but i'm i'm convinced i've avoided them like the plague man <laughs> yeah i, I, I it, it's kind of hard to avoid them but at the same time you're just like i i try to be uh willfully ignorant about them yeah so i'm like, just like shh, 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 stop 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 you know yeah. but um i'm con I'm, I'm pretty convinced that a lot of those 3d era characters that we know and love are going to be in it um i i want i, I want to hear because Natar is my number two serena is my number one if Natara is in the game, and I'll, I'll I'll share my thought on on gameplay, which is that I would love to have her be a stance character, but sure. an aerial stance character, mm -hmm. kind of similar to Cammy's hooligan. Oh. So you can combo into her flight. She can combo do a pop up. She you would have to jump, and then you know you would have to do you know quarter circle back one and then you have to pick you know are you going to dive kick are you going to overhead are you going to grab you know grab and that can lead into another combo as well because boone mm -hmm. did say that some characters can, are going to be better aerial combat characters than others natara oh, she fits so perfectly exactly yeah. so oh, and can all, you imagine i'm already guessing i'm sorry go ahead oh you no finish. and i was also going to say can you imagine cameo like uh, having a cameo character not like sonia's like you know her her square wave thing but more like you can have a cameo character who does something like a a uh a, a level three or not level three but a third assist like a dragon ball fighters where it's like a combo in the air so mm -hmm. i mean imagine natara doing a pop-up doing a combo in the air having another cameo oh, yeah. do a combo in the air and then you have to jump up and do your uh um do your aerial stance to you know do another combo it's like mm -hmm. I'm not going to be disappointed if that's the case because I don't like to pump myself up over a theory, but <laughs> that's just mm -hmm. the way I imagine her playing was like an like a, an aerial stance character, you know. Yeah. So it, how how would you like Natara, to, assuming she's in the game, because she's your number one? How would you like Natara mm -hmm. to be? I feel like I'm setting myself up for disappointment because <laughs> what if these aren't in the game? But you have my brain stirring of all these different things. Yeah. Because you, I, I know you probably thought about it though, right? You've but now that you. You, well, now you've brought up that like there are air combos. So my yeah. first thought was, okay, they have to give her uh -huh. an air-only special move that when meter burned, keeps them in that same airborne state. So she can launch them in the air, do a full string, that special move, but she just like maybe flies through them and like mm -hmm. they, they flip through the air and like she spins. But then she's just flipping sides, but she can do a second air string and then end it. Like she gets a double air string. Mm -hmm. That'd be super sick. String, special, string, ender. But it's all in the air. That'd be super sick. Mm -hmm. Also give her a move like say her string ground bounces like Sub Zero's does. Mm. Give her an air dive move where she grabs them, but then if you meter burn it, she brings them back up and can do a second string. Like, that'd just be so sick to watch. Dude. Like, ground bounce, grab, Dude. pop back up, so good, and then slam yeah. down. Like she would be perfect for that because she has the freaking wings. Yeah. No, she. I wonder she, if they're gonna have her wings go away when she's not using them somehow. That way the throws don't look too goofy because just these giant wings that are constantly on her, <laughs> or if they'll just say mm. fuck it like. Every now and then the opponent clips through the wings, just deal with it. <laughs> Keep the wings, man. The, the wings are so badass. I mean, you can't, yeah. As long as they don't yeah. give her like dumb ghost wings, like some characters have, or like they're mm -hmm. just like phantom projections, like they're smoke wings or some shit. As long as they don't do mm -hmm. that, I'm yeah. happy. Even if they, they're, they're normal dragon wings, but they kind of fold down when she's not in the air, that, that'd still be fine. So yeah. they open up during her attacks. But of course, ideal is like they're just always out. Kind of mm -hmm. like how Devorah's spider arms were always out in mk11 i like mm -hmm. that choice i did too yeah i thought that was a good choice and i hate devora but <laughs> and but still um the look was a lot better you know with the with mm -hmm. the with the with the uh the tentacle things whatever they're called um out but yeah repositor limbs yeah oh, there you go spider germs mm -hmm. <laughs> But yeah, did no, you know I, this character's a spider? Netherrealm beats you over the head. Do, do you get it yet? We made a cocoon web attack too. Yeah, do you know that she's a spider? <laughs> no, it's, dude, it, like they made her so eerie. Like she wasn't that eerie in MKX, and then now she's like even more eerie. Like, she, yeah, she was kind of cute in MKX. You could argue, like from certain uh -huh. angles, she could be like somewhat attractive. Then in Eleven, it's like no. She yeah. is a bug lady. Like she even fires bugs from her armpits. <laughs> like she yeah. is gross, except that she's gross. Yeah, she's gross. Except like, okay. that she's gross. <laughs> but yeah. But um uh moving on to <laughs> <laughs> I just thought of that meme where it's like, if you leave me alone with this woman in a room for five minutes, one of us is leaving pregnant and it's gonna be me. <laughs> <laughs> That's Devora, she's gonna impregnate you. <laughs> That's oh gosh, dude. Oh, she's so gross. 
um it, it was, props to them dude they t- they managed to make a they managed to take a female character and make her so over the top eerie oh yeah and gross well, i made a video too where i yeah. said the only reason people don't like her is because she kills off the main characters everything else is completely fine like design wise yeah. she's great yeah she's like a top two nether realm character like as far as an original like she's mm-hmm. up there like she's awesome mm-hmm. but they just made her kill over and over again the yeah. main characters so you're gonna tell me yeah. yeah you're gonna tell me you <laughs> killed gerard you killed who else now you killed scorpion it's like you're, you're gonna t- you killed all of these characters this one this one character alone killed like half the cast it's like okay so yeah, yeah i'd like to, gosh where's that kill list i'd like to see it but um um, it's anyway. too many and it yeah <laughs> even in battle of the realms she beats johnny cage in a 1v1 and it's like are you kidding me that's the mm, og he's in yeah. the very first game <laughs> yeah so um yeah so moving on to um characters that we know are 100 percent confirmed with their you know the, the bios got put on the website you know and um I think both of us have made content about that. From what we kind of know, how are you feeling about the new direction of the story? I stutter. I apologize about that. But um, oh, I do too. <laughs> I'm working on my ums, likes, you know. So with what we know about the story, how do you feel about this new direction with the characters and their new backstories and their new, you know, essentially personalities? you know yeah i mean i'm very happy with the idea of a new direction than a what if story because i'm a big fan of comic books and they Mm -hmm. have that all the time like there's spider-man but there's also miguel o'hara who's very different right Mm -hmm. so i'm I'm a big fan of new takes on the same kind of character and of course spider-verse is an even better example of that Mm -hmm. so as long as you're not messing up with the original story and just doing a new one i'm completely okay with it Mm -hmm. in fact i prefer that to like trying to recreate the first game, but then just changing stuff. That's like more offensive than just making a brand new game. Yeah. I almost wish they went even further with it, like even more different, you know? For Mm -hmm. example, when I heard that Melina had a disease, I was super curious, like, oh, what is this like new disease that's giving Mm -hmm. her fangs and stuff? Mm -hmm. And then when it was revealed that it's the Tarkata disease, I was like, oh, (laughs) so she's still just part Tarkatan. You didn't stray that far mm-hmm. from <laughs> from her being half I, dark I, cotton. I, that particular, I was actually like, I really like that one. The one thing, because mm-hmm. I, I mean, we don't know too much about it yet because this, you know, we haven't told the full story. I thought, or I theorized that the Tarkat disease it messes with her mouth, but I also mm-hmm. thought it messed with her head too yeah, probably does. like the virus makes her more and more insane but they made it out to be like she's she's very impulsive and her behavior anyway. <laughs> anyway that's just who she is and and turns out like the general public of outworld like like kitana a lot more and it's you know probably causing some jealousy <clears throat> but uh <laughs> <laughs> I, I just yeah. thought of something funny because you know how before she was like part magic because shang sung made her uh-huh. so that could kind of help you understand why despite not having the, cap- the capabilities of her lips touching she could still uh-huh. make m sounds and buh sounds and all that because <laughs> magic right right i would love if in the new one because it's just an actual disease if she's like you don't know my pain katana i can't say ends anymore <laughs> <laughs> i lost half my phonetics are just fucking gone <laughs> i can't say fuck fuck <laughs> 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 i find that super hilarious like she actually yeah. has trouble saying like certain words now and shit is, it's yeah. not magic anymore sorry, sorry go you, ahead you, no 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 that, that was perfect that was perfect so funny to me <laughs> <laughs> i can't say my own name anymore god damn it <laughs> it's got an ew it's like you don't know my pain it's like try saying the word eh it's like <laughs> eh m you mean m yes say my name what is my name yeah that first one yeah no i complete i'm nelina now yeah. i have to do ends with my tongue nelina i'm nelina <laughs> but um yeah. no i uh uh i i felt so for those of you um we uh we were talking about comic before we even started recording we started talking about comics and we mentioned we like thing i personally i am a big proponent of change and new and we mm-hmm. both agree we're like we like something different but new or new but different or how do you say it same but different think that was what i was saying same but different and with the new story and the new direction that's going one thing that i'm i'm i really am glad that they're doing is that uh they're setting 
a, a, they're setting a concrete precedent of what it's going to be going forward. So no more inconsistencies, no more retcons. I'm sorry, Sindel was a retcon. I don't care what they say. That was a total retcon. It was. But yeah, yeah. And going forward, we are setting the tone also for future writers as well. So um, because, I mean, the team, I know uh, Dominic Chinchilla is the head writer, but they probably, he probably, I'm, I'm assuming he's probably going to have a team of writers as well, you know, and going forward, the people who are going to be writing as well are going to be like, they, they're going to look back on, on this and be like concrete. Okay. Fire God, Liu Kang and chosen, you know, this is the for sure chosen one that Melina for sure got her mouth because of the Tarkat disease. You know, it's like, we can look back on that instead of, you know, three different iterations of why Melina is the way she is, mm -hmm. you know? So, because yeah, well, Mortal Kombat 11 had like so many retcons, which was bizarre because it mm -hmm. was the end of a trilogy and they mm -hmm. still felt the reason to like change a bunch of stuff. The only annoying thing yeah. now is going to be for a lot of people, this is going <clears> to be their first Mortal Kombat game. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to get all these normies who don't know that this is like a change. They're going to be like, oh, yeah, yeah you know, Melina because the Tarkata disease. Oh, no, I meant like the original Melina when she was like a Shang Tsung experiment. Oh, yeah, yeah <laughs> and exactly. they're just not going to know. Oh no, like the original, is. the real, real Melina, the one from Mortal Kombat 2. It's like, yeah, they're not going to know that one. They're going to think yeah. forever that Sub Zero and Scorpion were always brothers. Like, oh yeah, they've always been brothers. <laughs> Little do like, you know? The same plan. <laughs> no, for sure. It's a uh, uh, which is fine because I mean, shoot, thirty years later, you know, technically mm -hmm. thirty-one, but thirty-one years later, yeah, we are going to see. Uh, we're going to see P this is going to be a lot of people's first mortal Kombat, and this is what they're going to know is like the, the as mortal Kombat, and i'm actually okay with that that's completely fine and um uh one thing i hope they don't do is because I'm, I'm just done with timelines and i don't want i i don't want time travel i mean t the only time time travel has ever worked when the whole entire story is about time travel like back to the future the whole premise of back to the future is about time travel all this mm. all of a sudden you know mk9 uh we got you know re messages from from the past uh, or from the future we got messages from the future and then mkx didn't do time travel but then mk11 it's like it's 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 time travel and i was like time travel is just is just kind of like like an easy way to get away with a lot of things, you know, yeah. it has no repercussions for, for consequences. And yeah, and that's kind of lame too. Like when I saw mm -hmm. Melina come back for MK 11, before that even happened, I had so many theories of how she could come back. Mm -hmm. All of them were more interesting than just, Oh, this is the past Melina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad they're going in the direction that they're going. And um, I really like the direction that they're going. And so far, and we talked a lot about choices, decision-making and stuff in, in, I, I really, I, I'm, I'm kind of glad. Okay. She has the Tarkat disease. Um, I, I have a theory that it's going to be like the reason why she can't let anybody know is because the Tarkatans are kind of like a leper colony. And that's, yeah. she's going to yeah. be banished and have to go live with the Tarkots, you know? And then, and that's probably where Barack is going to, you know, be involved. And it's going to be like an Australia thing. You know, all the criminals of England got shipped to Australia. I don't know if you know the history behind that. And, and mm -hmm. they literally started their own country. So, yeah. um, which is also funny, by the way, Sub-Zero is so bored that he started his own country. Yeah, he's trying to start a nation. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, dude, I was like, dang, we've been at peace for so long, and I'm so bored. I'm gonna start a nation. I was like, okay, Sub Zero, but hey, listen, if I've saved the Earth multiple times, I think we deserve yeah. our own nation. <laughs> he's like, I want a castle. Yeah, so I don't. That's going to call it the Lin Castle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, dude, I can throne of pure ice. Oh my gosh, but, sir, yeah. won't that be unpleasant? What might you stick to it? <laughs> Only if I get a little bit sweaty. Yeah, <laughs> then I will stick to it. <laughs> no, it's a uh, uh, yeah. I like the direction that they're going. So um, I just hope it's not too repetitive. Like, mm -hmm. oh no, Cyrax, you caught the cyber disease. You're now slowly becoming oh my a cyber. Oh yeah. no, <laughs> that would be dude. That would be awful. You caught the and, Shokan disease. You're growing two extra arms. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Your brain, I, no. <laughs> yeah. 
there can only be like yeah that's the thing it's like make one disease leave it one disease don't make yeah. any more diseases yeah i'm also hoping they don't just slowly wrap it around to what mm -hmm. it is so for example melina the cliche and obvious route to do as a writer would be oh she just eventually becomes the same melina like she hates her sister mm -hmm. she's kicked out of the kingdom she joins the bad guys and now she's mm -hmm. evil that's the lazy way I want it to be something surprising. Like she almost does that, but then at the end, like she redeems herself and like saves Katana or something, or mm -hmm. maybe they cure her. That'd be interesting too. Mm -hmm. Or maybe Katana ends up indirectly being the villain because like the person trying to help her with Melina was actually a double agent and led her astray. So indirectly Katana is like a proponent of the villain side. That'd be really cool. Mm -hmm. Do something interesting. Don't just like make a couple changes and then yeah. have it, revert back to what we've always known and then Luke mm -hmm. Kang's like yes no matter how many times I reset the timeline I find this to be true it always reverts to its pure nature and I can't change anything and that's like the ending like credits roll and then Onaga's like but up up but up up just shows up as a <laughs> like you know after a credit scene yeah <laughs> And I was uh, that's uh, one thing I'm looking forward to too is like speaking of, the, of that is um Countess Jade coming countess into play jade. countess yeah. jade and when he said like you know keep countess jade close she's a, like imperative to your future and you're just like first off countess jade what okay mm -hmm. that is a fantastic idea great job there um i i i can totally see mutiny i can see espionage i can see a lot happening you know with that so it's it's gonna be it's gonna be really interesting when it comes out and and looking at that but um yeah so we pretty much agree there uh but so far the direction of the story looks great but how about the designs of the characters mm -hmm. how do you I feel like them a lot okay i mean it's not as good as the ai art i mean it's always better you know but you know they're doing their best <laughs> <laughs> to make cool yeah. designs no i like them a lot um mm -hmm. there was one minor change i noticed from or someone else noticed from the first trailer to the gameplay trailer they mm -hmm. changed katana and melina's uh masks a bit <laughs> and the, i wasn't a neck. fan of that yeah mm -hmm. katana's no longer connects and i was like oh dang it it looks really cool I kinda, in the first yeah. trailer. i wonder if um that's gonna either go back or change because i remember that the gameplay um i believe it was dr I, I could be wrong but i believe it was dragon on tweety's um stream he actually said that the stress test that i'm sorry the gameplay trailer is actually older or i'm sorry it's newer than the stress test build and mm -hmm. so i'm kind of wondering if that's like similar with the trailer as well because i really liked that it connected yeah. I thought that and was I've cool. And I've heard people say like, oh, well, they're trying to make it easier for people to cosplay. So they took in mind like how cosplayers make their outfits. And I'm like, that's really nice and all. That's cool. But also, Katana will in figure the game out. is not a cosplayer. Yeah. And when you show me that mask, she looks like a cosplayer. It looks like a mask you can like put on yeah. in like two seconds, like a cosplayer would do, as opposed to a regal uniform that like was really fancy and dutifully made, you know? So I'm sorry, yeah. cosplayers. You'll find a way. <laughs> they should say, not have you, to simplify the outfits yeah, for you. They'll find cosplayers will find a way. I mean, they always yeah. do. So yeah, but I really liked it. I really liked the design. Um one thing too about the bios, I I, I did want to mention though, was um uh, I pointed this out to to Brusque was that uh, Raiden it says champion of Earthrealm. Now he did say that that could just mean warrior. I'm yeah. looking, uh, you know, Kung Lao is uh, youthful. What does it say? I, I forgot. Like youthful something. Um, and he's like kind of making it out like he's ambitious. He wants to be the warrior. Raiden is like you know. Kung Lao is very Luke Skywalker where Raiden is kind of like the Han Solo character. Like he does, he needs to be there, but he doesn't want to be there, but turns out he's really, really important. So he makes the decision to be there. Um, which is great. I like both of those character archetypes, uh, and, and glad that they're doing that. Um, Kung Lao, I did not see if he was the chosen one, but because of Luke King's ending in Mortal Kombat 11, I'm like, dude, I really want Kung Lao to be the, the chosen champion, the chosen one. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I really cool. or let that. us choose let us pick who fights yeah. the, the big bad that'd be an interesting like option mm -hmm. and based on who wins like it can change stuff hold mm -hmm. that thought i'll be right back bathroom again <laughs> <laughs> go for it edit this part out don't don't leave it in <laughs> two hours later oh yeah one more thing about um costumes before i forget so okay. they've shown for all the male characters or at least mm -hmm. most of them that mm -hmm. they have a casual outfit also 
We've seen Raiden's casual outfit in the cutscene. We've seen Kung Lao. So it's like a hoodie. Yeah, and you're right. They are very Kenji's casual. Tuxedo. Mm -hmm. I really hope they do that for the Adenian characters too. I want to see like Katana trying to look like an Earth Realmer. Like she has like a mm -hmm. <laughs> yoga pants and like a hoodie or something. Be super funny. <laughs> yeah. Or even if it's just like Adenian casual attire. I don't mm -hmm. want it to just be Earth Realm. Give me street clothes for every character. Yeah, what does Adenian casual look. look like? Yeah. <laughs> Is it like Lord of the Rings kind of maybe? Mm hmm. You know, just like, like you know, like or Game of Thrones ish kind of looking. That, that'd be interesting. Yeah. I'd love to see it, like just mm -hmm. personally. Yeah, I would imagine. Um, I I would imagine a Denian's being a lot more like Mediterranean. Sure. You yeah. know, so I yeah to that'd be really right, cool. It's the Caribbean to, up in this bitch. <laughs> yeah, I I was thinking more like um like Gladiator, or okay. three, or, or three hundred. You know, so oh, yeah, yeah, it works too. Yeah, like very Greekish. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mediterranean is like Greco Greco Roman. You know, that's when I think of Adenians, I think of like. You know, um, uh, what what is it like Asia Minor, you know, area? So it's going to be like yeah. yeah, like Greco Roman, a lot of uh, like Turkish, Hungarian, you know, kind of just kind of that, yeah. that Middle Eastern meets you know medieval kind of look. But yeah, uh, I, that would be super cool to see, you know, casual katana sporting yeah. her sporting her casual Adenian look. And everything. Maybe oh my we gosh. can get both. I mean, we've already seen three costumes for some characters, so maybe we, Katana can have casual Adenian wear, but uh -huh. also undercover Earth Realmer, which is trying her best to blend in, but just fails completely. <laughs> like maybe she's wearing like pajama pants. <laughs> yeah. And, like, yeah. And a crop top. And every, yeah. <laughs> and everybody's just like staring at her and be like, "Yeah, nobody does that." And so <laughs> I, can I would rock that. that costume. Be my favorite. <laughs> for sure. Oh man, dude, NRS. You got to get on that pajama uh, swagger. Start selling that. Yeah, yeah you got to start selling that 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 athleisure. <laughs> can you imagine? Can you imagine going onto the W W E store website and be like athleisure pajamas, and it'd be like M K, you know, pajamas and stuff like why that. Why not? They're already like, selling yeah. mugs and stuff. Like why not? I know, get right? Like on Dude, pajamas. Give me pajamas that just have like Melina's size on them. <laughs> like, that'd be sick. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh man, you guys got to get on that, dude. But um, anyway, yeah, uh, character designs, um, I felt were really well done. I did like the casual side. You're right. I didn't even think of that. It was like casual. I just thought it was like kind of like, you know, just their side costume or their story costume. Yeah. I mean, you know? not to slander them because it's not an insult, but they're going very Street Fighter. I've noticed like mm -hmm. not just with the outfit, like how Kung Lao got ambushed. When he was at a ramen shop so he's wearing like mm -hmm. what he would wear to a ramen shop and same with raiden yeah. right mm -hmm. and then the fact that the ramen shop is even a stage is also very mm -hmm. street fighter like you're just minding your business and then here's a fight you know and same with johnny yeah. cage's mansion it's a dude's house <laughs> but it's like the stage you know it's way different yeah. than like Sh shao khan's throne room we're like oh yeah if i could break out there it's mm -hmm. like you're being caught off guard in a very normal yeah. street situation so i love that kind of street mm -hmm. fighter vibe they're going with at least for some stages because we've already seen living forest also so there's mm -hmm. some iconic stages still coming back but like a Denian courtyard would be sick mm -hmm. too you know just like a regular area like oh there's the fountain where they do like wishes they flip coins in and shit you know like, oh there's mm -hmm. the trader over there i'm totally down yeah i'm also going to send you an image of fans who have already given melina like casual clothing <laughs> oh that's cool yeah i want to uh i want to see that i don't want to take away from the uh uh, uh the aesthetic of the uh uh of the podcast but yeah after we're done i want to take a look at those because that yeah, that's yeah. sick i'm I'm a, I'm a huge fan um of by the way uh fan artists there there's a, there's a lot out there that are really really good and um i'm all for fan art so I'm, mm -hmm. I really like what they're doing recently too. Is the uh, color pinwheels? Have you seen those? We'll oh, do, okay. They'll do like the color pinwheels. So they'll do like a red, orange, blue, green, purple, mm -hmm. and they'll do a character for each one. Oh yes, yeah, for each color scheme. Yeah, mm -hmm. very yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. a huge fan of that. So they have so. like analogous, split, complementary, tetradic. Yeah, all that good shit. Yeah. That's hard to do for Mortal Kombat because they're all one color <laughs> like, exclusively. Yeah, they are. Katana's the blue one. Molina's the purple one. <laughs> yeah. But um, was there any... Because I have seen people not like 
Raiden's outfit and not like Scorpion and Sub-Zero's outfit. And I fully disagree. This is one of my favorite Raiden outfits I've actually ever seen. Um, I got to give you props, dude. Uh, you were probably, I would say you were probably the one uh, content creator that was kind of saying what we all were thinking, which was like, you know, why did you take away the revealing clothes why did you nerf the girl's bodies you know like why did you nerf melina's body <laughs> it's like and i was sitting, and i was like i was sitting there i was like you know what i i i i like i i i missed i i missed the old melina i'm i missed the old katana you know and so um now it's seen with with the new the new designs they look fantastic by the way and and mm -hmm. i'm glad that you know it, they look they look really really good and believe it or not katana it, it's this is one of my favorite looks of Katana, but at first, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, I don't really like it. And then when I started like, you know, playing during the stress test and started, uh, like in, and, and I, 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 uh, like checked out the outfit and the, the design, I'm sorry, even more. I was like, this is actually a sick outfit. This is actually like yeah, really yeah. good, you know, mm -hmm. but, um, any particular ones that really stand out to you? Or is there like, uh, any ones in, is there any that you're just like, ah, they shouldn't have done that, you know? No, I'm pretty much a big fan of like at least one of every costume shown so far. Mm -hmm. If I had any negative complaint, it would be that we've already seen <clears> three <throat> characters wearing the Shaolin monk outfit and they're all going <laughs> to be like very similar, you know? Yeah. And I'm like, that's okay. But like, hopefully like if Johnny Cage is wearing one too, it'll be like his take on the <laughs> Shaolin monk outfit. Like maybe he mm -hmm. won't wear a certain thing correctly or whatever. That could be fun. Mm -hmm. And I still get people angry at me on Twitter, constantly misrepresenting what I said even though in my video I stated I don't dislike the new costumes. I mm -hmm. just hate the idea of denying the option to wear something a bit skimpier because for 20 straight years, fans were conditioned to have that as an option. Mm -hmm. And now suddenly it's gone. And that just feels unfair, especially since Mortal Kombat is not the game to start having the high ground morally. <laughs> like, it's never going to be there. <laughs> it's not the, not the game yeah. platform to virtue signal. It just makes no sense. And um, but just as long as there's an option, I'm completely yeah. fine. Yeah, there was a... Uh, uh, I really liked history behind the warrior when uh, I think he said that during one of his... I think it was a Molina video. He was like, and guys, it's mortal combat. I mean, come on. <laughs> Like he, as like he, he he makes a valid point because it's like when you think of Mortal Kombat, you think of the first off, you think violence, blood, guts, gore. You think of kung fu and hot girls. I think the whole thing started really was when the character designer in an interview yeah. after, you, when he said like, "Oh, they're going into battle," and I was like, "Yeah, I know they're going into battle, but if they're mm -hmm. going into battle, every, all of them should be doing that." And I, one of the arguments I really didn't like was that. Well, if the women were going into battle, then they would dress like, you know, an MMA uh, thing and all the guys would be in like, you know, kind of like military wear, like everybody would be in military wear. And I was like, no, this is fantasy. Yes. You know, the moment the moment that you started making people realistic, you took the fantasy element out of it. I was like, I don't want them to look realistic. I want them to look like fantasy characters. So yes. all of them. So it wasn't even so much of a thing of just like, oh, they're going into battle. I was like, I, I think that was probably, I don't think that's his full intention yeah. of what he was saying. I, I don't want to give, I do want to give him a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. Um, but at the same time, I also think it was like maybe like in poor taste to say that because the moment that you start making the women less attractive and the men less attractive and giving them less attractive character designs th that you're taking the fantasy element out of it. And, oh. you know, if you really to go for realism, every fight would probably end in about five seconds. So, yeah. <clears throat> and it wasn't just that line that bothered me. It was the mm. last statement where he said, mm. I'm sure some fans will be upset about this change mm. and that's okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, Re really? That is like almost one of the worst ways mm -hmm. you could have phrased that. And I understand it's during an interview. He didn't yeah. take time to type that out. Right. So you don't always say the best response, but that is anti-consumer is one of my biggest gripes. I, I can't mm -hmm. stand it. Like, I don't see why you would do that. Like, Oh, I my fans like this. I'm just not going to do it. Cause I feel like I shouldn't do that. That's so annoying. Yeah. Again, it's a game where you murder people. So that shouldn't, the line is at the mm -hmm. clothing aisle. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it doesn't make yeah. any sense. So I just like the option though. Cause there's so many good outfits in MK 11 that I really do like. Yeah. 
And eventually they added the swimsuit costumes back anyway, which was super ironic. Yeah. To me. In, in, in the MK11, uh, uh, the Kitana spring outfit is probably on record as my favorite Kitana outfit of all time. Yeah. And good. It's in a M- it is, it looks great. And, you know, she had the, like the, you know, Osher's hat and stuff like that. So that was really <laughs> good. But I mean, just like to kind of comment on that was that, I've worked in customer service probably my entire, I still work in customer service. I'm in front of customers all the time. Every job I've had, I've, ha- I've had to deal with, I've had customer service and, and, and had to, I've perfected customer service to a point to where it's like the one thing you should never say is, well, if you don't like it, don't buy it. Or if you, Ooh. yeah. And it's never in good taste to ever say anything like that and so even you know if it, if it's a, a variation of the sort you know you're never going to please everybody i get that there's no way you're going to please every mortal combat fan you're always going to have those old school mortal combat fans they're probably going to be mad at the new character designs and new story direction and you're going to have the new mortal combat fans who are not going to like the new direction and you know the people in the middle there there's going to be people who don't like the game but god forbid do not i mean like sorry for the love of god do not ever say well if you don't like it don't buy it you know yeah, that's terrible. that's just something you should never do <clears throat> yeah. but um but yeah overall um character designs look great i'm glad they're doing that and i can't wait to see more character designs in the new looks and how they're gonna come i'm I'm like i'm actually be like dude what's havoc gonna look if if havoc is in the game what is havoc gonna look like yeah it's exciting yeah so and um, i really hope that we i really do hope that if some mm -hmm. of the really old characters from the 3d era or even before that Mm-hmm. If they come back and they're just cameo characters, mm-hmm. I still hope that for most of them, we get a new look. Like, for example, Goro's mm-hmm. a cameo, but his outfit's completely different than mm-hmm. it's ever been. Mm-hmm. I prefer that than him just being MK1. I get it for Scorpion and Sub-Zero because they're mm-hmm. already in the game. So their cameos looking classic makes perfect sense. Mm-hmm. But let's say, for example, Trimmer comes back mm-hmm. and he's just a cameo. I really hope he's not just like Orange Scorpion to make him like really classic. And I also hope that he's not just MKX Trimmer. I want to see how does Tremor look in Mortal Kombat 1. I understand he's only on screen for like three attacks and the fatal blow. (laughs) Mm -hmm. But fully realize him. Give me a whole new take on Tremor. Like, do it. I want to see MK1 Tremor. Know what I mean? Yeah. If Chameleon comes back and she's just a cameo, don't just make her Armageddon Chameleon. Mm -hmm. Give me a brand new design for Chameleon. I want to see it. (laughs) Yeah. No, I, I, I completely agree. And... um. To, to be honest, I'm pretty confident that that is going to happen. And um, that was the other thing, too. Like I said, I, I at first I was really skeptical of the cameo characters because, um, you know, I didn't want to just see, you know, Bo Rajo's fart come out. No, I, it's like <laughs> I, I wanted I wanted, you know, him to come out like like a character to come out and actually like do something. Well, because cameo fighters is the game. It's kind of like Street Fighter six. We mentioned it's like drive. If you do not know how to use drive rush it's like you're gonna have a bad time you're gonna have a bad time so this is like you have to know how to do cameo fighters you you have to know it and it's gonna be a bit of a learning curve i know but they're on the screen a lot so they're since they're on the screen so much and they actually spend a lot of time on the screen scream screen it's like yeah i i do you know let's uh, let's just you know chameleon was a great example it's like I want to see Armageddon Chameleon. I want to see MK1 Chameleon. Uh, you know, I, I, I want to see the... Yeah, good point, because they have alternate costumes. I forgot mm-hmm. the cameos have more than they one do. costume. I they confirmed. do. Confirmed, yeah. So, I, yeah, I, and and I'm I'm looking forward to, like, the designs that they come out with and stuff like that. But it's like, I don't want to dismiss... I don't think they should, you know, get lazy on the cam- the cameo characters' designs, which so far they haven't at, at all. But, uh, but yeah, I just like, don't get lazy on the, the cameo characters design because they're on the screen quite a lot, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. hundred percent so, agree. Yeah. So, um, I and won- also, I wanted to bring up, um, your fear <laughs> is not far off. You had that fear of like, oh, just bull ride shows fart coming into screen because mm-hmm. that was very close to their original idea. Um, Ed Boone said in an interview that mm-hmm. like one of their original ideas was everyone had a companion mm-hmm. item. Not even a person, but an item. Oh. So, for example, Kung Lao had like a, an extra floating hat that followed him around. That was actually an idea they were going to go with. Mm-hmm. And he could command the second hat. And then 
Ed kind of like, kind well, like a Sonya's drone. Make them actual characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. And that's mm-hmm. why cameos came out because they, instead of just a dumb item that follows mm-hmm. you around that you can like summon, they're like, how about just have it be another person? And that made sense because like yeah. I mentioned, everyone says they want tag team, but then when there's tag team, mm-hmm. like nobody plays it. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm not sure if that's true, but I have examples of that. Like when Alex came back for Street Fighter V, mm-hmm. he'd been gone for like 10 plus years. Mm-hmm. Everyone claims they love Alex and wanted Alex back. Mm-hmm. And then when he was finally DLC, almost nobody played him. <laughs> yeah. He wasn't even that popular online. So like some people would just say they want something and then never actually make use of it. Mm-hmm. Now, do I think that would have been the case for tag team? No, I think it would have worked just fine. I think you could have made like Tekken Tag 2, but it's Mortal Kombat. Mm-hmm. I think it would have worked just fine. But at the same time, there's a lot of strengths to cameos, like how we can see characters that never would have made the cut. Mm-hmm. You know, like Moloch was never going to come back. My son, he, he was yeah. never going to come back. But as a cameo, <laughs> there's a chance, you know, yeah. but really cool stuff. The amount of like guest characters you can have as cameos is just crazy, too. So mm-hmm. I'm excited for the potential. In a way, it's kind of like a blessing in disguise because of how many characters that can finally come back. Yeah, and it, I I uh, theorized that as well was with the guest characters because one I, I've I've heard so much, and I agree with this. I I personally don't like guest characters. I understand mm-hmm. the importance of it because Ed Boon openly said that in Justice One, Scorpion was the the top seller, and I think from that point on, they were just like, okay, they're like, we get it. Uh, uh, guest characters sell and then you know yep. M- mkx they had the horror pack and then the uh, uh action star pack and mk11 and those probably sell like sold like crazy so i i, I get that from a, from a from a revenue and I'm, I'm i'm all about making money so it's like okay i i totally get that um but with cameo fighters i think that's also a great way to have those guest characters in the game without them taking the place of a main character spot you know, so I, I, I'm actually all for uh, having guest characters be like cameos and everything. So and and that doesn't take away from like, you know, uh, other main characters, because a lot of people have been, you know, you, I, I've seen the meme a lot. Like, what if your what if your favorite is a cameo? You know, <laughs> we've all seen that. And I told you, like, Serena is the one character I went back in the game. It's like, what if she's a cameo? Well, personally, if she is. I, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. That's completely fine. I would rather her be a main character. I hope she's a main character. But it's like if if Nitara, Lee May, or Ashra, Smoke, Havoc, if they're in the game as mains, I'll be perfectly happy and fine. You know, because of all those other characters. Um, and it doesn't mean that she could not be DLC later. You know, but even so, it's like that's true. Yeah, that's just kind of like how I, you know, kind of felt about it. And imagine if her cameo got better each time. Like she becomes more demonic each time you land the cameo attack. Mm-hmm. People yeah. are pretty sick. Like there's potential there. There's a lot. I think if Serena does come back, she's going to be fully playable. Because come on, be Hans alive, for fuck's sake. Yeah. <laughs> no. Her crush is finally alive. I want to see that. I would like to see that too. That was that's like one fa- fan fiction is the uh, be Hans Serena uh uh re- romance between the two or even even like the Kwai Liang the Kwai Liang Li, Li Mei or Li Mei Bihan Kwai Liang uh Serena love triangle like yeah that would oh okay ma- yeah. make, make it even make it even more conflicting between the two brothers because <laughs> yeah that was the cool thing about the character bios too that I really I, I really enjoyed that I like that by the way this time I, Katana falls in love with Kung Lao <laughs> uh that that's that was one thing i said was that with katana um if Liu kang is going to make a new era and if he's going to keep one character exactly how that character was in the previous timeline it's going to be katana because she's on her her whole personality and everything is exactly the same um and which which is which is fine um and i like that but with um scorpion it's like okay at first i thought scorpion is going to leave and start the shirai ryu but um that didn't make sense because let's assume that they are actual b- blood brothers they're chinese born why would you make a japanese ninja clan in your chinese born that doesn't make sense but uh uh th- now they're fighting for control over the 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 Lin Kuei because behan's taking it taking it down a road that 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 scorpion he's probably quietly but 
that's my theory but is that data <laughs> <laughs> it's but uh uh to see that conflict is going to be really cool to see it get played yeah. out you know i completely agree yeah yeah again like i said i hope they don't play it too safe like, i want to see yeah. some big changes take some risks yeah take i even joked risks. on a different podcast what if mm -hmm. this time scorpion dies and he becomes a weird take on noob cybot like that would be interesting mm -hmm. you know yeah, that it, like stuff it, like that. Yeah, it would. have reptile be a villain. Have or no, sorry, have reptile be a hero. Mm -hmm. If like Frost comes back, which she won't, but have her be a good guy. You know, mm -hmm. it'd be super interesting. Yeah. I want to see actual reversals and changes. Give her long hair. <laughs> I know. Have like have like long frosty hair. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be actually pretty cool. Um. So uh, yeah, one. So I have one last question for you before we sign off. And I told you, yeah, I gave you the question at the beginning to give you time to think, but you knew the answer almost immediately. <laughs> You're just like that, which is make or break, but it's two make and break. What is the one thing that is going to be like, yes, this made it, uh, this makes the game. And what is the one thing that's going to be like, okay, I'm going to put the controller down. Uh, this, this, this broke it for me. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I will say the break thing would be if, one or a handful of the cameos are just so ridiculously good that they're the only ones we see and mm -hmm. they're also just not fun to fight against mm -hmm. so imagine the frustration of like shiva stomp mm -hmm. not that move in particular but just the amount of frustration that brought and how you didn't want to play the game anymore mm -hmm. i hope we don't get cameo characters who are just that ridiculously cheap and good mm -hmm. and they just dominate everywhere and they, they ruin the fun of the game like they're just too oppressive you can't do anything that mm -hmm. would really suck um, as far as what would make it, there's already so many good things about the game. Yeah, that's, I guess what that, I mean. Hard. I like Natara. That would make it for me. But also, mm -hmm. I suppose what could make it would be, like you said, new archetypes finally show up from other fighting games. Mm -hmm. Because we have the puppet character. Give us the grappler. Give us the character with like stats they have to build as they fight. Like you mentioned, how Guilty Gear and Street Fighter Six have characters like that with like separate meters that are mm -hmm. just for them. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, that'd be super sick. I'd love to see that come back because. Or for the first time, actually, because mm -hmm. Mortal Kombat never had that. Yeah. But I meant to come back from other games, like mm -hmm. the archetypes. That'd be super cool. I would probably make it for me. Um, I can only do that. I can only do one for each. So <laughs> I guess. Yeah. yeah. No, you can, you can keep going if there if there is if there is other things by all means. Uh, well, yeah. I guess it could also break if the story mode's like so different that we hate it. Like mm -hmm. that would suck. Like if it's um, not just like lore, but like the gameplay is just not fun. Like if somehow yeah. they made story mode not fun that mm. would suck yeah right like i love world tour in street fighter 6 but i'm also very disappointed that if you think about it mm -hmm. there's not actually any story there <laughs> like no, nothing really not happened to any of the characters yeah unless they're brand new then we got story right but like mm -hmm. nothing technically happens to chun li in world tour nothing new happens with ryu or anybody yeah. because it's just your main character's story there's not even like a final battle sequence where everyone shows up mm -hmm. that you've built like you know teammates with not even that happens they just stay in that one spot <laughs> on yeah. the planet and they never leave which kind of sucks so mm -hmm. if we got that for mortal kombat one it would be a bit lame because i like to see the characters doing stuff you know yeah and interacting and all that which i'm sure they will we've seen like cutscenes already and stuff so yeah in mortal kombat it, whoa i just hit my desk um mortal kombat is like it's it's the fighting game that's for kind of for like the casual too it's like they never not make it for the casual player and so story like you know it's known for its solo play you know not just the uh the campaign and the story but also like the towers and stuff like that so there's no doubt in my mind that they're gonna put a heavy focus on the gameplay um if what you're saying is like for instance like a campaign or some sort of like rpg element you know to it to where it's like interactable and make change you know make decisions and stuff like that so if they do decide to go that route which fingers crossed i you know i i really hope that they do uh i i i there's no doubt in my mind that they would make it to where it's kind of like i would i would in in ed boone's words a perfected conquest you know yeah. so um yeah be cool I would really hope for that for sure. And I thought um, of one more break. Okay. I thought of one more. Okay. Uh, 
if the costumes are really hard to unlock or just too grindy, that would suck. Mm -hmm. That was also a big issue I have with Street Fighter Six is that the only way to get the costume two for a character is mm -hmm. to either do all of their missions or to just get a lot of money by grinding the game mm -hmm. and then buy a bunch of items to give them. Mm -hmm. And then once you reach level 100, you get their costume. And it's the same for every character. Yeah. And it's like, really? I can't even get two costumes by default. I just have the one costume. And then if you want other colors, you have to like spend real world money on that too. Yeah. And it's like, this, this sucks. <laughs> like if that yeah. happens in Mortal Kombat 1, I'll be super upset. Yeah. And also, if there's a battle pass, I'll be upset too. Like, oh, for this season, if you want Katana's outfit, you got to get all the way to the top rank of the <laughs> season pass. No. And that would just suck. I don't want that either. I want it to be just, there's a uh, somewhat okay way to unlock the skins and stuff. Yeah. Like beating arcade mode is a completely fine reason to get the costume. Mm -hmm. Unlocking it with in-game currency is also completely acceptable. Mm -hmm. Just don't make it too grindy. I would hate to like play the game and then discover, oh, if I want a costume, mm -hmm. eight hours later, I can have one costume. <laughs> yeah. Like, and that would just th there's also like, that was a big complaint about MK11. So very grindy it's super grindy injustice 2 also um there's no doubt that i think that they're probably going to take care of that and find a unique way for you to like to unlock the costumes now i like to work for my costumes but not like grind for my costumes you know <laughs> or achieve them that's another thing i've mentioned too is just like i I play a lot of online. I, it's like if I go online and play, if I'm not playing with friends, I'm playing ranked and I enjoy ranked. I enjoy competitive. I play locals as well. And uh, one thing I really like about, um, I played League of Legends for years. One thing I really like is that at the end of a season is uh -huh. they have the skin. You know, they have a season skin, but you have to achieve gold rank in order to get it. There's no like no way around that and you if you end the season and you didn't get gold then there's no way for you to get that so i i kind of i mean i've i've had friends disagree with me and 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 that's fine but it's like i i like achieving like said yeah. skin or like in this case i think a, i think a, a more safer option would probably be like a color you know, or something like that. But yeah, it's like if I get to elder, if I get to elder God in ranked, I, I, I would hope I get a skin. And I was, I was really not happy with MK11's rank system because one, I just thought they were way too short. It mm -hmm. was like yeah, one, what was it like twenty eight days or something like that? It was, it was not long at all. And um, but yeah, I, I, I believe NRS has heard the cries of of the fans saying like, you know, the game is way too grindy, which is very true so yeah there's no doubt about that um yeah i think there's almost... a way to keep us playing to unlock skins without making us hate ourselves mm -hmm. is the main takeaway because combat league became toxic league man like it, it was did. the most stressful i don't know why it was so ridiculously stressful like you can play other fighting games and not get mad yeah i found like you could take the happiest buddhist mentality person and make them mm -hmm. play combat league and eventually they will have their angry fit moment where they just get mad <laughs> and are super salty break their controller punch a hole in the wall yeah and it's like why you said because it was really grindy to get to that rank but also limited time stressed people out so mm. if you lost a match and went down a rank you're like no mm. took me like 10 wins to get there yeah. fuck <laughs> and i like um almost every other fighting game too they don't have seasons too yeah. you know and I'm, I'm really glad that street fighter 6 brought back what street fighter 4 used to originally had which was the uh character um ranks and i'm really i'm really happy that they did that that's something i hope that uh mortal Kombat can implement some sort of thing like that but it's like um yeah I, I like the ongoing thing i don't think seasons i don't like doing seasons um you know and it, i think it'd be really cool to be like oh i'm a you know I'm a, a, a grandmaster rank sub zero. Like, I think that would be, you know, to have that title, you know, is really cool. And, and so I hope they do kind of do away with the season stuff, but um, I also wish um, they probably won't do this, but I wish they would have you lock in your character before going into rank. So just yes. Save time. And go I into training mode. That too. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm just tired of like getting there and either somebody's AFK 
So I'm, I'm forced to wait for the clock to count down from like 60 to zero for mm -hmm. no reason and the character yeah. select. Or they're just trolling. Some people legit wait the whole 59 seconds and then pick their character. And I'm like, who are you? Who is this person <laughs> that gets joy out of doing this? Like, you're yeah. so weird. Yeah. <laughs> I get that, but yeah, the, like my other thing that what I said that was a uh, training mode. Like I'm sick yeah. of you know going into matchmaking and just waiting there. It's like, dude, let me go into training mode, like work on some combos, work on some tech or something like that, you know. Yep. So I mean, the training mode was great. They had a great training mode in MK11. It's like, why can't I do that while I'm waiting for a match? You know, what's also really cool. Um, Street Fighter Six did this, and now that uh -huh. Mortal Kombat 11 doesn't have stage interactables, that they could do this too. In Street Fighter 6, you can all see a different stage. Mm -hmm. You can have your preferred stage with your preferred music, mm -hmm. and no matter who you fight, you will get that stage, and they will see something different based on their really? preference, which is super interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the third person spectating also sees a different stage. <laughs> so it that, just I loads didn't whatever know you want, which That's is cool. super cool. Mm -hmm. um, they could even theoretically, I'm not sure how they could pull this off, but Tekken does it, so there's technology for this. Mm -hmm. In Tekken, if you're playing online, you can pick which side you want. And it always gives you that side. Mm -hmm. So you and your opponent can both be on the left side of the screen, which I don't get how that works. But as long as you're playing mm -hmm. online, it does that. Um, like, according to you, they're on the right side. But what I mean is on their screen, their left side, because that's their preference for starting a match. Mm -hmm. And you are also on the left side on your screen. Mm -hmm. But for, you know, you, you get what I'm saying, right? Not too yeah, 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 yeah. confusing, hopefully. Theoretically, as long as every stage in MK1 is the same length, they could do that too. You could pick yeah. your preferred side, and then you'll just always be on that side. Well, it Sounds is a, really cool. It is technically a three-dimensional stage, so it's like if, if I'm looking at you like this way, right? Like the camera's this way. Well, I'm on the left side, so it's like it, if the technology is there, you can just put the camera here to where right. player two flips around, and then it's like they would be on the left side too. So, I mean, that, that could work. But at the same time, mm -hmm. it's like learn how to play on the right side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean i've yeah. always felt like it's like no matter what i'm completely okay it's not that big of a deal mm -hmm. i'm not a pro player at the highest level of play i can see where it's like really annoying but again it's a 2d fighter so it shouldn't matter it only matters in tekken because some characters are legit southpaw fighters and some are orthodox fighters mm -hmm. so when you flip the screen now at the start of the round some of their moves don't reach because the, their mm -hmm. their front arm is now their back arm mm -hmm. and like it doesn't reach that's mm -hmm. an actual thing in Tekken. It gets really mm -hmm. technical, but that's never been an issue in Mortal Kombat. It should be fine. No, <laughs> no, it's never been an issue. I mean, they had like if they for the for whatever the reason era, they maybe. yeah for whatever reason they still had the side switch button. I was just like, why, why even why have the side switch button? It's only because for some reason their animators, and it could be the it could be an impossibility due to the fact that they do strings mm -hmm. in Street Fighter. There's no strings. There's just like single buttons, right? right that link some characters have target combos but the animators make sure that they always end up back in that front facing stance mm -hmm. whereas in mortal Kombat, they have to account for if you stop one attack early now your character's got their back to the camera so their option is to either animate every angle so they have like a southpaw and an orthodox or have that weird janky animation where if you stop early they just step back to their yeah <laughs> their front stance every time which could be done um, but I guess they're just too lazy can, to do that. So they just have them stay facing the wrong way. Yeah, I, I can see why they, why they would do that, though. That, that actually does make more sense when you say it like that. So but it could be done either way, though. So you're mm -hmm. not wrong. It could be done the way you want it to. Mm -hmm. It's not impossible. They just found that it's easier, I guess, to do it that way. Mm -hmm. I'm just mad that mashing left trigger doesn't give you the taunt. Instead, teabagging does. I was like, <laughs> man, left trigger is how I taunted people. Yeah. In the day. I, just keep, I just keep stance switching. Yeah. That's what I did. But oh, well. <laughs> So yeah, but so far um, I'm actually three. You're actually three for three right now for the, the with with the make. Almost everybody the make was roster. That was like the biggest thing. Oh uh, yeah, ever uh, so far actually four. So far, you're the fourth one with the make was roster. And um, you know, give me Natara, give me Lee May. I want Ashra. I want you know all these you know the these specific characters. So that that that, that kind of shows how important having these characters are now i i i cannot i cannot get behind those people who are just like what smoke is not in the game i'm not buying it sorry that's yeah, I, no no i cannot get i can Big i can I, I get it serena hasn't been in the game since armageddon 
and i've wanted that character in a game for a long long time and a lot of a lot of people have been like i've wanted frost in the character since you know 3d era and yeah. they find they finally got her and then she looked like she did and she played cool i like hey, the way she played i love frost leave her alone as long <laughs> as you pick her uh her weird science fiction football outfit she has like decent hair and actually looks uh -huh. cool her yeah. default just looks kind of weird <laughs> Her default looks very weird. I like her Lin Kuei outfit. I actually like whenever I... That's I, good too. Yeah. yeah, I actually play her Lin Kuei outfit. But... Um, and if uh, you pick um, a, a certain color for her default costume, it looks uh -huh. really good. You just got to actually unlock that costume, mm -hmm. which was super hard. That was a grind. You get lucky <laughs> with that one. Yeah. I think I only grinded out just like a handful of characters and it got to a point where it was like the character... Like if I want to, you know, actually get like a certain costume or certain color for, you know, a certain character, I was just like, eh, I got the three costumes that I wanted. I, I don't want to do this anymore. Like I'm fine, you know, but yeah, so far everybody has been with the roster. Um, my personal break is, uh, is cross play. Yeah. Is, I mean, they already said that they're doing rollback netcode, which is great. Um, but Crossplay is a, a big deal to me because, like I said, I play on PC. Um, hopefully, um, I, I'm uh, going to try to budget for a PS5 <clears throat> so I can get that upon release. But um, I have a lot of friends that play on PS5, a lot of friends that play on PC, and I would hate it to where they don't implement crossplay as big of a game as Mortal Kombat is. It is a AAA yeah. title game that they wouldn't implement crossplay which they did in the pre in mk11 but it wasn't crossplay for pc and a lot of the fgc plays on pc and mm -hmm. i even yeah. remember even in 2019 2020 i believe there was this i don't even want to call it a debate but a lot of people are saying like why aren't we having majors and locals play on pc you know and obviously it's like too expensive it's really expensive and stuff like that right but at home a lot of the professionals as well all play on pc you know mm -hmm. like i watch jay wong he plays on pc i watched you know uh, uh ketchup and mustard i th i think they were playing on pc as well and uh uh you know just a kid punk a lot of these street fire players they're all playing on pc so it's like it it doesn't make sense why mortal Kombat would not want to implement cross play amongst pc to ps5 and xbox you know yes so yeah. It would only be like a budget thing. Like they just want to cut corners and that would just suck if they wanted to save like, mm -hmm. you know, a tiny amount of money just to not have crossplay. That would suck really bad. But didn't Mortal yeah. Kombat 11 finally add crossplay? So I have high hopes that MK1 will. Yeah, they did implement crossplay, but I don't think it's for PC though. It's all oh, good point. Good point. Yeah. Yeah. It's only for they Xbox to PS5. That's my biggest thing is PC to Xbox or PC to PlayStation 5 and those three. Switch can, whatever. I don't care about Switch. I can't, you can't yeah. be upstaged by Street Fighter 6. Damn it. If they I have know. it, then we have to have it for Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Come on. No, you can't sir. Be out. And yeah. I'm, I'm, dude, you're gonna sell, you're gonna sell 20 million copies. Like we sold, oh, yeah. we sold 12, I mean, we, I'm, I'm not an NRS, but NRS sold 12 million copies with Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 11. I, I have a feeling they're going to hit 20 million in this next time. It's like, dude, if you're going to hit, dude, you're going to sell 20, 20 million copies. I'm my, you know, projected theory. Dude, I have cosplay, have cosplay, crossplay in there. Please have crossplay. That That's my biggest thing. Have cosplay too. But yeah, yeah cosplay and cosplay. Yeah, and cosplay as well. But um, yeah, hundred and ten percent. That would sell way more copies. I feel like alone mm -hmm. if they just had the option for crossplay. Because I'm a PC guy lately. Like, because it just mm -hmm. looks so pretty. It tends to run super smooth. And yeah, there's I'm no, already here. No input delay. And yeah. also, technically, if if in a perfect world, if every um, game I like is on PC and runs well, I could theoretically just cancel my subscriptions on <laughs> yeah. Xbox and Sony because internet, I'm already paying for it. Why am I paying for it a second time? Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> kind of ridiculous when you think about it. Mm -hmm. It used to be free, Zoomers. Did you know that? Did you know that, Zoomers? <laughs> there was a time when PS, PS Online was free. It was. They used, to, they used to make fun of all the Xbox guys for it, like, hey, yeah. we have free online. And then eventually, like all, all the all the Microsoft guys, even me, were like, "As we are now, you too shall be. <laughs> you will have to pay for the internet. You are ignorant to believe otherwise." And we yeah. were right; they're going to be forced to pay for it eventually. 
No, I remember. Now here we are. <laughs> I do remember my friend. I remember growing up, my friend Kevin. It's like we all played Halo Two on Xbox Live, and you had to pay for Xbox Live. But then um, I had a friend who had his uh, PlayStation Two, and I believe PlayStation Three also was free. I'm I'm pretty sure that theirs was free. And he'd be like, "Oh no, like we don't have to pay for any. There's no PlayStation subscription or anything." I'm like, "What? You don't have to pay for this? That's insane." Yeah. Yeah. So, um. Any final thoughts before we sign off? I think you hit everything. I didn't even mm-hmm. think about crossplay because I just assumed like they wouldn't, they wouldn't leave that out. They wouldn't, yeah, keep PC players. But then you're right. You're totally right on the dot because MK11 and you know only consoles, so mm-hmm. it could totally be a nightmare that they do that. Oh no, mm-hmm. I don't think I have any more closing thoughts except that I'm very hopeful. The cameo mm-hmm. system has me super excited. I already like where the story direction is going. Mm -hmm. I love the idea of all the changes. I hope there's no crazy change that everyone absolutely hates. (laughs) Yeah. That would be ridiculous. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but um, I guess the best example is Battle of the Realms had me super excited Mm -hmm. in the trailers. And then when I watched it, it was the most hated thing I'd seen in a long time. (laughs) So they could always find some way to disappoint me. Yeah. (laughs) So we'll see what they do. I, I completely agree. I think that uh, I'm very hopeful, very, very hopeful because coming off of Mortal Kombat 11 and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm what you call like optimistic. I'm a realistically optimistic and it took me a long time to finally just be like MK11 just wasn't a good game. It wasn't a bad game, but it just, to, to, in my opinion, it just wasn't a good game and it took me a long time to actually, um, I don't even want to say accept that, but I was just like, I really wanted to like that game so bad. And um, crap, I keep hitting my desk. And um, with this game, it's like, so far, it is the most beautiful looking Mortal Kombat I've ever seen. The character designs look great. I'm gl- The new story direction is very promising. And um, I, I, I'm pretty confident that I'm not going to be disappointed in that. And a lot of people would you know, are not going to be disappointed. And, um, yeah, my thing is like, if NRS is listening, dude, just keep it coming, man. Like all the, all the care, like the character reveals the story game, the you know, story trailer, like just keep it coming. Yeah. You know? I'm really excited that they're going to do that because that's why they waited so long to reveal it. It's so mm-hmm. close to the release date. That way they can just keep showing us stuff. Yeah, I almost hope they're going to do it just like MKX because that was, to me, the best they've ever done. MK11 wasn't bad, but it felt mm-hmm. kind of spotty. Like mm-hmm. some weeks we wouldn't get anything, and then well, some weeks we get two things and all that. But MKX was every week, here's a new character on the podcast, mm-hmm. and then here's also a trailer of the character before the podcast. Every week we got a new character, and it was so sick. Yeah, And it was great for content, but just, just as a gamer, it was fun to like every mm-hmm. week, like, who are they going to show this time? Who are they going to show this time? You know? Yeah. And that's, that's, that's very true. I, f- I felt like MK11 had a pretty good campaign going. MKX did have that four month time when they just didn't show anything at all, oh. but well, damn. Yeah. But then after I forgot. that, <laughs> yeah, there was that four month, but then after that, it was just like every week after that, it was just something new. And with, all the main character, the main roster characters with all the cameos. It's like, dude, you're not going to have a shortage of things to show us. And, and, uh, uh, I feel like we're at that point of, um, the, the analogy I always, I always use was like, uh, in Lord of the Rings, when the Ents were flooding, um, Saruman's tower and, uh, uh, there was the dam that was held up and they were like, it's leaking it's leaking water and they're just going over there and all they're doing is just like, I feel like we're at that time where they're about to remove the last rock for just the dam to explode and rush is full of like a, just a, a ton of, a ton of content. You know, that's how I, I, I feel we're at the cusp of what's to come. Yes. So that's the hope. Yeah. I can't I, wait. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, thank you so much for, uh, taking the time, you know, to do this recording. I appreciate it so much again, uh, true underdog gaming, make sure to check him out, make sure to uh, subscribe to his channel and, uh, oh, you're too kind. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So again, thank you for coming until next time. Shred out. <laughs> <laughs>